It was a hollow caption, as empty and desolate as the husk of a seed. The photo had to be experienced, and Charlie felt sorry for anyone who couldn't see Eva with the water cascading down her face and across her narrow shoulders. She was 13, sleek and plump, with a pointed nose, pointed chin, and two perfectly pointed ears that hinted as at what she would be one day. Not pretty, per se, at least not yet, but arresting and made all the most extraordinary by the cold disdain in her sapphire eyes. Incongruous, that's what it was, the petal-soft blush of her full cheeks paired with the penetrating wisdom of her gaze, a child caught at the exact intersection between a girl and a woman. Mom, Ava said in the moment before Charlie snapped the picture, don't. But Charlie did. It was a moment of madness, a ferocious love that disintegrated after the shutter snapped and Eva tumbled off the slippery walk, falling headlong beneath the filming spray of the waterfall. There was laughter there when Charlie carefully packed away her camera and dove in to join her daughter. But the moment was resurrected later when the image lit up Charlie's computer screen. Without a doubt, the picture of Eva in the waterfall was the most wonderful portrait that Charlie had ever taken. Ava was just turning, framed between a wall of greenish water on one side and slick brown stone on the other. One slender hand was on the rock and one hand was tangled in her long hair as she pushed damp curls out of her eyes. Before that, she had been prosy. All artificial smiles and a self-conscious thrust to her jaw. The last click of Charlie's camera had captured a singular moment, an unexpected window into Ava's soul. Something wild lived there, raw and untamed, and a whole world contained in her eyes. Charlie couldn't print it. Not something that's so intimate and vulnerable, but it also seemed cruel not to share. So she cropped it close, one shockingly blue eye, a wet ribbon of hair against the blade of her cheekbone, the sparkle of her sunlit water, and showed it to Eva. That's me? She couldn't suppress a grin, but tried by pinning her bottom lip between her teeth. Wow, Mom, I mean, wow, can we post it? Their set and girls Instagram page had been the only thing Eva truly wanted for her 13th birthday. Allegedly, all the kids in her class were already on social media. Age limits be damned. And Eva felt the pinch of isolation when they chatted over chicken nuggets in the school cafeteria about accounts they followed, funny memes they saw, and photo ops that they were staging. It was obvious Eva thought that maybe this was her in. Still, Charlie couldn't stomach the thought of her daughter online at such an age, so they compromised the Sutton Girls, a joint account to chronicle their life as a little party of two. At first, Eva had argued, but it was half-hearted. Half In the end, the very first photo they posted was a close-cropped waterfall shot. Eva found and carefully typed out the mermaid quote all by herself. They only had a handful of followers, mostly family and friends. But the photo took on a life of its own. Strangers liked it and commented, but in, put it in their stories and archived it for later. Charlie's phone pinged him up incessantly with notifications until Eva showed her how to turn them off. Somehow, the picture garnered 100 likes within the first day. It quickly blossomed to 200, then suddenly 1,000. Friends of friends and members of the Duluth, Minnesota community and total strangers who double-clicked and then expressed their deep appreciation by sharing the stories and hitting followers, hoping for more. By the time 10,000 people had liked their post, and there were more comments than Charlie or Eva could ever hope to keep up with, everything had changed, even if they didn't know it yet. I think we just went kind of viral, Charlie said. They're calling you, calling you the Little Mermaid. One side of Eva's mouth quirked into an abashed smile. I know. Then she giggled. Does that make you Ursula? And Charlie started to sing, You poor, unfortunate soul.